Very good. If you're using a songbook, then you can mark number 505 will be the song of invitation. 505. The mystery will soon be revealed. <laughs> the title of my lesson tonight is called Five Things Jesus Did Not Say. <laughs> I came across a, uh, a graphic on social media not too long ago that had a list of things that Jesus did not say. Some of these sort of things sound like something you might find in the Bible or something that Jesus might have said. But however, they're not sayings of Jesus in the New Testament. I tried to select some songs that would work well with these thoughts and sayings, so hopefully we can learn from this and get closer to God. Most of the songs have some of the sayings in it, and some of the scriptures we read are uh, the correct thing that Jesus said according to each one. So. We'll start with the first one here. The first one that Jesus did not say is, follow your heart. That's something you might hear people say today. Just follow your heart. This real scripture says, Matthew 16, verse 24. What did Jesus say? He didn't say, follow your heart. 16, verse 24 says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross and follow me. So don't follow your heart, follow Jesus. Which, but people say, follow your heart. The second thing that I have that ha up here tonight, he didn't say, be true to yourself. It's also in the same verse there. 16 verse 24. Be true to yourself. In this case it says, deny yourself if you don't deny yourself then you're following you're not following Jesus you're following yourself he didn't say be true to yourself thirdly he didn't say believe in yourself let's turn to John 14 and verse 1 John 14 and verse 1 says let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me don't believe in yourself, believe in Jesus. He said, believe in me. Fourth, live your truth. John 14 and verse 6. So, John 14 and verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So don't live your truth, live Jesus' truth. He is truth. His words are truth. Lastly, what Jesus didn't say, as long as you are happy, he didn't say that. Matthew 16 and verse 26, which is close to where we were a minute ago. Verse 26, for what is a man profited if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Yeah, don't look for your own happiness. Do what God wants you to do. You will lose your soul if you try to gain your own happiness. So these things, uh, most of these things are, basic, are based in humanistic views of elevating oneself your wants or your feelings above the commandments of God. This saying proposes to say that truth is subjective. Live your truth. Really, there's only one truth. Everyone doesn't have a truth. You have an opinion, <laughs> but there's only one truth. Truth is not, subject, is not subjective, it's objective. God defines what's true. So tonight, if are you following Jesus or are you following yourself? Are you denying yourself as we are commanded to do? Almost every sin that I can think of is based on selfishness. Do what you want to do, but we need to do what God wants us to do, Jesus wants us to do. Are you following yourself tonight or are you following God? 
if you have not obeyed the gospel, Jesus' Jesus's commands, then you need to do that tonight. First, do what he says. First, you have to hear his message if you haven't heard it. You have to believe what you hear. Repent of your sins. Confess before men that you believe in Jesus. And be baptized in water for the forgiveness of your sins. And, live, and then live faithfully till death. And then you will, will receive your reward. But if you've already done those things, but you faltered, you're following yourself and you're not following Jesus, then you need to make a correction. We can pray for you tonight. So if you have any need, come forward tonight as we stand and sing the song that's been selected.